Charlie bit today. And as the aircraft runs away, you can see quite predominantly on the outside, we've got the rocket pylons, and on the inside, we've got the Hellfire rails. What are the numbers? Yeah, missiles and uh, rockets. Well, in this fit today, we've got two rocket pods carrying 19 rockets each, uh, and then the two Hellfire launchers carrying a great shot here, uh, 90, degree, 90 degree down, uh, this time with a twist. And as we said there, the main differences between uh, the UK Apache here and uh, the Dutch flying display is this is an operational aircraft. This uh, aircraft recently returned to Afghanistan within the last month. Right. And, and is still supporting all of its Afghan dirt on it at the moment. <laughs> oh, very nice. You mean it hasn't been cleaned? It hasn't been cleaned yet, no. Oh, well, that is absolutely extraordinary. Of course, the uh, Netherlands, uh, the Dutch Air Force Apache is also a lot lighter as a result of uh, the differences, I know. But uh, what's this big donut on the top? Uh, that's called fire control radar, and that is one of the most visual impact differences from the Dutch other than the main scheme. Uh, and that's used um, here in the UK as well as our operations. Uh, it's often used to pick up armour. That's up to 256 targets at a time. And that will then display the Of course, no time to talk to each other. And a lot yeah, of activity going on. Home environment, low level, nice and fast, high degrees of angle of bank. And you'll get some great shots as this comes uh, through crowd centre now. Well, you can really see it there. The, uh, Great to have them all on today. However, I think uh, the display staff might have something to say about that one. Interesting stuff though. This airframe goes back some uh, way indeed in terms of its initial construction and design back into the 70s. It was used very much as a development in the Cold War. Tank busting was uh, very much in frame, but it's amazing how it's adapted to the modern battlefield and uh, to the uh, demands that have been made on the squadron in Afghanistan day in, day out. Uh, for many years, but of course all that uh, uh, we can look forward to a bit of uh, normal squadron life. Okay, well I think the next move is they come into the centre. They do they indeed, this will be their final manoeuvre of the uh, the display, the bow, and uh, if ever it gives yes, them a great view, you're looking at that, give them a 